Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to apologize for this delay. Um, this is due to my bad knowledge about time zones. Maybe because I um, read some not reliable sources. Yes, about this thing. So let's speak about uh, how Wikipedia can uh, work with this, uh, with um, identifying reliable sources uh, in Wikipedia, uh, because as you know, Wikipedia has uh, over uh, six, uh, 60 million articles in uh, over 300 languages. So information about different topics uh, can appear independently in these languages and information also must be referenced by reliable sources. As you see in this table uh, pre are presented the most developed language versions. The most developed is English with more than six million articles. Uh, and also we can see that all of the presented languages has at least one million articles. So this reliability is a subjective concept and the reputation of the same source can be assessed differently depending on a person or a group of persons. So uh, we can see that some sources can be reliable on one language version of Wikipedia, but in another, it's not, uh, it cannot be considered as, as a source of information. So Wikipedia contains different links, um, references to different sources, but most of them are websites. So uh, some of the language versions have some lists of sources which are reliable or not. So as an example of such table, you can see on the right side of this slide. This is example from English Wikipedia. However, here we can see um, less than 1000 websites, but we can uh, also take into the account that internet have over a billion different websites that can be potentially considered as a source of information. And additionally, such list um, only have some of the language versions. Uh, so this study um, proposed some models for uh, automatic identification of important or reliable sources uh, in Wikipedia based on analysis of the content on the, of the Wikipedia articles. So we analyze which of the sources are used from Wikipedia editors to see which of the domain websites are important for the Wikipedia Wikipedians, yes. Uh, and uh, such information can be useful for new Wikipedia editors, which uh, not know, uh, don't have knowledge about which source can be reliable or not in a specific topic. So this um, work also focused on specific topic, it's companies. So uh, here we showed how we can find Wikipedia articles in this particular topic. So in, um, in other um, research, we can, for example, find uh, another group of articles and find which of the sources are reliable there. But in this research, we focused on uh, companies. So a few words about how uh, Wikipedia um, created this article, how users, for example, insert the references. So here you see an example of the table in a Wikipedia article about 
COVID-19 pandemic. In uh, the left side, you can see what table see the Wikipedia reader when he or she enters to the Wikipedia article. On the right side, you can see um, Wikicode. So users often use Wikicode to write an articles. Of course, there are also uh, other possibilities to write articles. For example, there is a visual editor uh, as, for example, Microsoft Word have. Uh, but here you see that uh, reference can be inserted by using special tag ref, yeah, so as a HTML code. But sometimes a uh, big amount of information data with references can be inserted as references to other page. So this table, whole, of, whole table is inserted by only one line of code. So here we see that all data with references in this table are presented in other page. So it's quite challenging to analyze um, pages with such reference to other page to, for example, uh, analyze references in it. So uh, in this study, we used other dumps, which quite new for Wikipedia. Uh, they contains Wikipedia articles in um compiled mode so we can see html code of this article and uh, each of tables references are presented in one page so we uh, we um it's simpler to extract this information so uh after extraction information from the references we can see that uh, a lot of languages use more than a million even millions of uh, references. Uh, in some language versions, we can see that density of references is bigger, larger. For example, English, we can see that uh, average number of references is almost 11 per article. Yeah, so depending on language, we can see that there is a different standards to um, approve the information which are inserted from users. And if we count these references for all of the considered languages, in this work we considered 42 languages, we can have over 200 million of references. So next step is to find uh, in these references uh, websites. So as I said before, most of the references have uh, links to some URL address to the page uh, where this information is appears. But another task is to um, extract main website of this URL address. So sometimes we can have domain uh, on second level as a main website, sometimes as a third level domain and so on. Here we have example of the uh, our department's website, which is placed on domain, uh, fourth level domain. And uh, for example, it is a page of our department, but our university have has um, a website on third domain, uh, at third level domain. And it's wrong to take Poznan.pl as a main website for the URL, which contains uh this structure so we can we must have some rules so such rules are uh described in public suffix list it's list which is publicly available you can uh, search for each domain and see uh what what is the structure we, when we can find main address so so if we extract such websites we can have over four million unique websites so uh, next step is to identify topics. There is different possibility to do so, but we use Wikidata and DBpedia. DBpedia use info boxes from Wikipedia and uh, mapped it to different statements in specific page. So we can see that uh, meta platforms is company, organization, and so on. Um, DBpedia has own, own ontology, and uh, you can see part of this ontology, and we can see that company have some subclasses, such as winery, bank, and so on. 
Next, uh, uh, knowledge base, semantic knowledge base, wiki data also can help to find topic of the uh, item. For example, meta platforms again, company, business, and so on. And the uh, wiki data has uh, links to different Wikipedia articles, so English, Wikipedia, um, and so on. So um, also we presented it in um, our article. We show which of the classes are more uh, used in different knowledge bases. Uh, in previous works, we presented some of the models that can um, assess the reliability importance of the sources. And here in this um, work, we use some of them and uh, proposed a new one. So dependent on these uh, models, we can achieve different results. Here you have part of the results which shows that uh, depending on language, on model, we can have different position on ranking of a specific source of information. For example, if we have Polish Wikipedia, one of the most important uh, source of information about Companies is virtual only media, we bought GPL, same GovPL, and so on. So we do it for, we've done it for every uh, considered language version. We have over 40 languages. So we can do it also for other, for other languages. And the uh, conclusions that we, we are able to extract this uh, millions, hundreds of millions of references, we can extract also unique domains, main websites of these URL addresses. We can find specific topic of the Wikipedia article to um, focus on references that are reliable for specific topic, not of all, all of the topics in Wikipedia. Uh, we used five models in this work uh, to assess the reliability of the sources. Uh, shows the differences between um, importance and the reliability of the sources depending on language version. And in future work, we wanted to focus on extending these models and using, for example, uh, different additional new measures to assess the reliability of the sources. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. We have time for one question. So do we have any? Okay, so so just one question for me. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, do companies use uh, use uh, uh, this kind of information uh, to generate some income, or it's uh, at the moment only some idea? So, so can you explain? Of course, it's some uh, idea. It's quite a novel idea to assess the reliability of source. Uh, our sources uh, of information in Wikipedia. So we uh, plan to um, check how it will be um, useful in other domains, uh, not only Wikipedia. So as I said before, we, uh, we um, create such models uh, for Wikipedians so they can see that which of the sources are preferable for the specific topic and when they write something about some company uh, they can see this list and uh, prefer use such uh, but uh, we plan to um, analyze how it works on other domains uh, maybe it can help um, different different companies to um, analyze information from whole internet so such list can help to we can say wage uh, the importance of the sources. Thank you very much. Thank you for presentation.